Welcome to today's Simplicity Specialty Training. Today's specialty training is on the basic collector process. Um, Simplicity is a program that can be um, customized uh, pretty much to however you uh, prefer to do business. And so when we're going over this, this is definitely not the only way to have your collectors conduct business. However, um, it is the process that a majority of our clients do use. I'm currently logged in as an admin in our demo account. Um, so what we can do here is we can take a look in our entire account. We've got 52 accounts. Okay, and um, as an admin, let's say that I want to focus on user one. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to filter by user 1 and click apply filters. Now this is just going to bring up anything that's currently assigned to user 1. If I click and go into one of these accounts, okay, so I'm um, I'm a collector and I've just made a phone call, so I make a note, I'm called, no answer, no message and we'll just add that quick activity code. Okay, so I've done what I need to do on this particular account. What I can do now, instead of going back to the home screen and searching for the accounts all over again, I can use this quick search tool here. Um, this quick search tool is available wherever you go in Simplicity, and I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. So if I click on this filter button here, my filters are still active. So if I click Apply Filters, this is only going to bring up anything that's assigned to User 1. So as a collector, if I'm logged in as User 1, um, I'm, I'm working these accounts, I'm making these phone calls, I'm, I'm adding these notes. Once I'm done with this particular account, I'm just going to go to the next one in my list. Okay, so I've done... Um, Barry Jones, I've done John, Donald the Duck, I'm going to go on to um, Yabba Beth, and then Test Account, and so on. So you can go down your list this way. Um, a couple things to make this a little bit easier, kind of streamline this, is as an administrator, you can create um, configurations in your filters. So if, for example, we have User 1, and we only want user one to focus on these particular clients. Okay, and also within that, we can filter by collection status. You can also filter by action codes. Um, all of these are available for you to filter by. So once I've got my criteria set, I can name my configuration. and click Add. And what this does is it adds that configuration to our configuration filter dropdown. Okay, so we can find our user one training, click Load, and had our filters not already been set um, with that user one information, then all of this information would come back up. So if, for example, let's say we load this one here. Okay, so currently we're showing um, these particular filters. If then I go to user one and click load, those preset filters will come up. Oops, hang on one second. <laughs> okay, there we go. So what happened is that um, that an additional collector was added to this, this particular filter set. So once you've got your, your uh, configuration loaded, um, what you can do in as an administrator when you have your um, collectors working these accounts, um, if you go to Settings and Collectors slash Employees, you can restrict which clients they have access to. So for User 1, these results. 
for user one, they're currently restricted to this particular client. Okay, so even though there were other clients in that particular configuration, they would not be able to click on and access any of the accounts that they do not have access to as far as clients go. So that's one way that you can restrict what your collectors have access to and what they work. You can restrict the clients that they have access to. Okay. Uh, another thing that is useful in helping collectors to uh, create a workflow is that we actually have um, settings and then work list configurations. Okay. So in addition to running a preset configuration in the filters, you can set a work list in the same way. So then when you go back to your filters, they can load a pre-existing work list. Okay, so this particular work list is user one and all clients. Okay, any questions about the collector process? Another thing that you can do um, when you are having your collectors work accounts is that they can enter a next work date and I believe we do have one in our list here um, because I am logged in as an administrator and using the user one um, just as an example that's why all of these clients are accessible but if I so if I click Apply Filters, I'm going to have my list come up here. You can see here that there is a next work date entered. So if you were to use the next work date with regularity, you can also filter by next work. Each of these column headers are filters. You can sort by these particular columns. So if that helps in working your accounts, um, that can come in handy to use that field. You can also filter by the next work date to and from. So if you only wanted to focus on the accounts that have the next work date of today's date, then you can certainly put in the to and from as of today's date. So it would say 44 to 44, and that would bring up anything that needs to be worked today. Any questions about this process? All right, if there are no questions, we'll go ahead and conclude today's training. Thanks so much for attending.